one that believes in academics. Yeah. I just ask myself, I spend a lot of hours trying to learn the theoretical aspect and still feel, what will happen if I spend those hours on the things I'm good at? Mm. So I picked that as a challenge and um, with the little knowledge I had already, I go on online, by then I had wide knowledge on the internet, making use of YouTube and so many things, make my own sketches. It became a part of my life. So I still learning and still fabricating. I didn't have any funding. All I had was my character, which was my number one collateral. So people believed, people knew my story. I won't collect their money and run away with it. I won't play around with their cash. So I'll meet a farmer, I'll walk up to you as a farmer. I'll try and convince you. This may stretching, you take three months to do. I can build something that will do it in a day. This is the cost needed, but I just need 30% of the cost just to gain his trust. It's easier to get the 30% than the 100. So when he gives me the 30%, I walk up to the people selling the materials. I just give them 10%. I go to the fabricators. I didn't have a welding machine. I didn't have anything. I go give them 10%, just begin to tell them, this is how I want it done. Join this together, join it together. When it's fully done, I take it back to the farmer. This is the machine, but what's left is the prime mover, the petrol engine or the diesel engine needed on it. But I, I don't need you to give me the cars. Just go and buy it yourself and mount it. When they mount it, I test run it. If they're happy about it, they give me the balance. That's how I started. So one person was working with it. Another farmer will see, bring his money. The confidence, there the, the, the was rush that they were now paying the whole money. Before I knew people that were interested in the cash will now come. Okay, if I can get you 10 buyers, how much will you give me? So they start becoming marketers. Mm -hmm. So they, I... I, I